Hello, hello. Welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. We are about to let our guest in for our Monday Notary Bosses Meetup. One second, and then we'll do formal introductions. Hey, everybody on Zoom, replay, and the podcast. One moment, please. Angela, I'm just going to let everybody in. Hold on one second. Wow, I was trying to. <gasps> Where are the people at? Oh, her... <laughs> so crazy. Girl, you know me and technology. I know. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody I, doing? I love all the smiling faces today. Yes. <laughs> all yes. We got some good, good news, good things going on. Right. Everybody's smiling today. I see. I can't wait to hear what's going on in these businesses. Guys, we got four people in the waiting room, and then we'll do our introductions right quick, really briefly, for those who may be new. <clears throat> While we wait and let those people in, I am right. Kimmy. Notary Life with Kimmy is my YouTube channel, part of the Notary Educators training team, and we train in all <laughs> states, and it will be our pleasure to assist you, whatever training needs you may have. But tonight we are here talking about bossing up our business. What's going on out there in these notary streets? I'll let Alexis introduce herself and then we'll get Angela. Angela, I'm loving that blue girl. Thank you, darling. It's the fall yeah. weather. It's the fall. I love it. I love it. Alexis, tell us who you are, girl. Hey, everybody. It's Alexis Franklin with Notary Educators. And welcome to Notary Bosses Me Up. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all got some good things to share. I was excited. I was racing home from my job. Um, I had a notary job to here, so I am ready. Welcome, everybody. Angela J, who you be? Who you be? I'm Angela with AJ Mobile Notary and Gwinnett Apostilles, and one third of the wonderful ladies at Notary Educators. I don't know why I feel good vibes tonight, which I always do, but I see all these smiles, so I'm so excited to see what you guys have bossed up this week with your notary businesses. Yeah, so welcome, welcome, everybody. So don't be scared. Don't be shy. I do see a few people that I personally invited tonight here. Welcome to you, those who come all the time, dropping gems. So what's going on in these notary streets? What's going on in our businesses? Anybody ready to get it started? Don't wait till seven. What's hey, going hey, on? Is it real bad? He said I saw him today and he said that there's a lot. Wait, wait, wait. Who's that? Oh, talking? I think she was just kind of talking. Oh. So while we wait for you guys, okay, Miss Donna, let's get it. Okay. Hold on one second. All right. Hey, Miss Donna. Good afternoon, everybody. Hey, Miss Donna. Hello. Hey. I bought two receipt books today and I came home That's Friday right. to a surprise. I just texted it to you, Kimmy. <laughs> I just texted it to you. It's a picture. I did just get that. Uh huh. And I came home Friday, and my husband said, "This is for you." I'm like, "What?" So what is that? Your is that going to be like your she shed? That's my she shed. Oh, 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 oh so support. Oh. He's going to put a door on the front. So oh. he went to look for the door today. And, I love um, it. You see it? Yeah. No, can I see it? Can I see it? Yes. I love the support. Let me so see. it's work in progress. Oh, look at okay. that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Hey, that's nice. nice. That, that is awesome? so nice. Yeah. That is nice. So I've been smiling since Friday. Uh, <laughs> that was a nice, nice. surprise, Miss Donna. Yeah. And we had somebody else in the group that um, actually bought them the books to start their business. So it's nothing wow. like family support. It really I love is not. It. You wow. said, you said kudos to him, okay? So my husband does concrete. And he also does heating and air, so he's gonna put heating and air in there, and he's gonna fix the front with the door. He did that, yeah. Oh, with your the support, the support. <laughs> Tell your husband kudos from Notary Educators. All right, All right. yeah, he yes. can hear y'all. <laughs> and thank you for sharing too. That receipt book is so important for those of you who um do not have a receipt book. We talked about that last week which was one of the things we said you need to have your business. Look at all the men in the house. We got That's the men so representing. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey couldn't make it tonight. He had another engagement. So he missed out tonight. Oh, man, we got two men. Well, I can only see two on my screen. It might be more. But anyway, yes, Ms. Donna. So you got your receipt books. For those of you who do not have receipt books, we talked about the importance of having I a physical it. book. Because not all of your clients want an electronic receipt. We got to prepare for the elderly too, right? 
Right. Yes. Or our lawyers often want a handwritten receipt. Okay. It can come from Dollar General, Dollar Tree, wherever. Um, thank you again for sharing, Ms. Donna, because being organized is important. It really is. It starts with organization having a business. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So what else we got going on out there? We got she sheds, receipt books. What else? Buying books. And we got the husbands doing it for their women. They wow. Yes. Yeah. Anything in the chat, um, Alexis? You usually pretty quick. Right. At TK says, Hey y'all, it's me, Tanya. Me and my mom are both on, and we just completed another training course. So excited. And congratulations. Training is very important. You all are taking that step to being great. I love it. Uh Shanez says, I just got my stamp in the mail. Congratulations, Shanez. Very good. So you got your stamp. Let's make sure you have some training. Don't just go out there and start stamping. Because we know most states, out of all 50 of them, just say, here's your stamp. Bye. See you yes. later. Yes. And Thomas Kimmy. Miss Tommy. Is it Miss Tommy? No, it's Miss Oni. That's my son. I'll I change it. Right <laughs> Let's change it. But I took your advice about the car. Hold on one second. Let me let me fix it for you. Tell me your name again. Oni O-N-I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember last week. Uh, Oni. What's yes. the last name, Miss Oni? M C B R I D E. Okay, cool. I got it. We got you. But yeah, I took I'm your advice you. about the card. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nice. 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 Look That's at that good. smile. Yes, very nice. That, that is perfect. That is perfect because last week we didn't have any picture, right? That's right. And now <laughs> look at that card. Yeah, I print up my own cards off of Avery. Oh, okay. Card, yeah. uh, would you mind sharing that process for someone else who would be willing, who would like to try to tackle that for themselves? Okay. You can tell us. It's Avery um dot com. That's the paper. And all you do, right? and all your, I mean, you can you can go in. It it shows you how to pick the certain the the card that you want. Um, I can't find what I'm looking for, but it show it tells you about the cards. It even gives you different backgrounds and stuff like that. It helps mm -hmm. you decorate mm -hmm. it yourself. And um, I went and got my cards. I printed it up on my printer. Looks that is good. amazing. So for someone trying to save a little bit more money, that is yes. excellent. Now I'm gonna give you one more tip as your business continues to grow with that business card. Okay. Okay. I want to see a little color. I, hold on. <laughs> Did I miss it? Oh, wait. That's not the one you just put up there, is it? No, it's two different ones. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Let me see. It's yes. Colorful. Yes. Do you guys see the difference? How many of you felt the difference when she put the first one versus the one with color? Yes, right. Anybody want to talk to that? What What did you feel when you saw the color versus the plane? Can somebody tell me? The color stood oh, out to me. It was noticeable. Yes, okay. Miss Victoria. It was noticeable. So they won't forget that pink one. But the first one is kind of like, hmm, very good. And I'm loving all your color in that background, Miss Victoria. <laughs> somebody got the assignment. I love it. So you guys see the difference, though? Um, they said they couldn't see the cards. Can you put them up one more time, Miss Oni? The first one and then the second one, like the eye doctor, number one or number two. Let's see. It's the first, the second one. That's the, the second the, one. The edible arrangement. Edible arrangement. And here's the first one. The dry now, toast. The dry <laughs> toast. <laughs> Now we ain't throwing away the first one. I mean, the we second gonna use one. it. Yeah, we ain't gonna throw it away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna use time. all of them. Yeah. yeah, use all of them. But do now with the with the red one, I have yeah. a little bit more writing on it. Yeah, with the red one, and with the white one, I don't have as much writing. The writing on both of them to me looks okay. I I love both of them. I of course well, the, I love the color. The the red one says the all the writing on the bottom one for the red one is. Stell's Notary Service is here to serve the community. 
whether big or small, I am available and ready to serve. And love then it, it also <laughs> says listed on Google and Yelp. Good, love it. Love it. And if you want a few more tips for your future batch of cards, check out my video on what the business cards should did. have. Okay. I did. Very good. Very good. C congratulations on taking that step to getting your cards ready. Now they're presentable. The house has been painted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Angelo or Alexis, do you guys want to add anything to that or we should move on? Move on. All right. What else we got today? What else is going on? We got business cards. That business card topic last week was really a hit. I had so many comments on YouTube and people were like, what about my car? What about my car? <laughs> so the business card is your, your gateway to your business. It really is. Just like and I forgot my receipt thing. book. You got the receipt book? No, I forgot to get it. I'm going to get it tomorrow. Okay, very good. Yep, get <laughs> your receipt if, book. If your business card is attractive, even your client notices it because every client that I have 99% of them said, oh, your card is very nice because okay. I have my picture on it. It's got color in it. And the picture is kind of cute if I do say so myself, but it got color on it. And, you know, they always compliment me on my card. Yes. Very good. Very good. And your website too. People will say, I called you because of your <laughs> website. I get that all day long, all mm -hmm. day long. I get that, that comment. So what else do we have going on in our businesses? What else is going on in these notary streets? Oh, Angela, they said, can you share your business card? And sh uh, we couldn't see Quintella's phone number, but for the rest of you, please try to cover up your phone number because going forward, we won't have time to go back and try to edit it. That's what we have been doing. If you show your business card, we've been trying to edit it. So just try to cover up your phone number so we don't have to go back and edit it. Angela's going to get her card for us. Uh, what else do we have going on? Go on once. If not, y'all going to have to hear me talk. Also, I'm sorry, but I also did some flyers. Oh, let's see. Very good. Very good. Now, same thing. Is your picture on the flyers? No, it's not. It's not on the flyer. It was someone was helping me and it was last minute. Um, but I can go back and add my picture. I'm going to recommend that you do. So let's use this illustration, guys. Can you imagine Beyonce flyer going out? And her picture ain't on it. <laughs> That's true. Uh-uh. Beyonce face is everywhere. Matter of fact, everybody was just silver because at first I didn't make the connection, right? Oh, my I, goodness. I ain't go to, well, I didn't go to the concert. I ain't know nothing about it, whatever. I, everybody got out all this silver. And I said, oh, so I'm looking at her advertisement. You know what I'm saying? So we are the Beyonce's and Jay-Z's or whatever. Your face need to be on everything. Everything. If you are not frightened for security reasons i always add that as women or men if someone's after you you got a situation you may not want to advertise but you are the business mm -hmm. you are the brand okay you are the brand all right what else is going on hey mr ken what's going on you, what my picture. Progress have you made here's my picture oh here's angela's card very nice very nice y'all see the color yeah very nice. Very nice. I received my book yesterday. Okay. Let's go back to Miss Victoria right quick and then we'll get Mr. Ken. I think he came off from you. Um, oh, very nice. Now, what state are you, Miss Victoria? In Michigan. In Michigan. Yes. Very good. You know I'm from Michigan, myself and Alexis. We, oh, we, really? we know. We know. Yes. West Side. <laughs> yes, we are. I did do a notary on Friday though. So I, I took the um took note of some of the the information about um charging what the state does. So I did do that on Friday. So I did a notary Friday. Very good. Congratulations. Was that Thank your you. first? It was my first in the past nine months. <laughs> okay. What you took some training or you just kind of got through it? I just kind of got through it. Yeah, How so we're not going to recommend that. Go How ahead. Did you feel? How did you feel kind of getting through it? I feel good. I feel good. So I used to do notary before, but I was not aware of all the um, information that all of you provide. And I am just grateful to Darnella for um, recommending you and excited to be here and to learn more and to be able to expand. 
Nice. Well, shout out to Darnella. Is that your Thank friend? Thank you, Darnella. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question, Miss Victoria. Don't be offended, okay? Okay. When you go to the doctor's office, do you want a doctor that says, yeah, I can get through that? Or do you want someone that actually been trained to do your I need, somebody, I need somebody with some training. <laughs> So and I say that because I um when I lived in Virginia, I was a notary signing agent, but coming back to Michigan, it was just so much different. And then after getting on watching you on YouTube and getting on the calls, I'm like, I feel like I didn't know anything. So I'm like, let me just go back and you know, read the book and just kind of start afresh so I can, you know get the most out of the information and training that's available to me so I can go forth and be the my best. That's true, Miss Victoria. I'm just messing with you. Very good. Congratulations <laughs> on getting through it though for real. And Thank then you. um the book is going to help you to see all the different avenues that you can make money as a notary. And mm -hmm. then you can double back for the self-paced notarized like a pro or the live training. I have um actually three spaces available for Friday night. No pressure for you. I'm just making this announcement anyway. And this okay. is a good time. And that course is going to prepare you and give you the confidence that you need to go out and notarize any piece of paper, even a piece of toilet paper mm -hmm. in all 50 states, because all of your documents are not just going to originate in the state of Michigan, Georgia, wherever you're located. Your documents will come from all okay. over the world. OK. OK. That's my and which training is that again. I couldn't hear you, ma'am. Which training is that again? Oh, Friday? Notarize like a pro. A to Z. OK. Yeah. OK. All righty. So for those who are listening, I do have, like I said, three spaces for this Friday night. It's at 6 p.m. Eastern. All right. Well, thank you again, Ms. Victoria. Congratulations. We are so glad to be a part of your team. Okay. Uh, Miss Shannon, what's going on with you? Mr. Ken, let me know if you wanted to say something. I had to put you on the spot while I was waiting. Go ahead, Miss Shannon. Oh, you're on mute, babe. Sorry about that. Uh, hello. I ordered the um, starting your notary business for Texas on Amazon, yes. and I did it around the 28th of September, but I still haven't received a book. So I'm oh. just not exactly sure what I need to do. Yes, ma'am. That's going to be an Amazon problem at this point if okay. you didn't receive it. Yeah, just reach out to them and let them know you didn't get it. Okay. We'll yeah, send you another one. Yeah, Mr. Ken is holding his up for the state of Texas. Yeah, go on, you know, go on Amazon and under your uh, what you bought and just send them a note. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I will do yeah, that. Did you have you. a problem with it? And they'll get it right out to you. Okay. Thank All right. Yeah, because it should not have taken that long. It, it's usually like Amazon Prime, like two days, three days. Thank you for your purchase too, Miss Shannon. We're glad to be on your team with you. And I saw a couple things in the comments. Alexis, can we hit those and then we'll get Miss Marcy? Yes, I stepped away. So I don't know. Did you all hear anything in the comments at all? I couldn't hear you. Oh, Miss Shannon, go ahead while Alexis check the comments. No, I, I thought I had lowered my hand down. Okay, it's, Just it's right. down. Oh, yeah. let me. I'll let it down. Uh huh. Alexis, the comments. Yeah, I said, did you all check anything in the comments at all when I stepped away? I saw things I in the comments. I, I didn't I mean, answered, I answered a couple of people. Okay, so where did you? Okay, did you see the Hello Kimmy? That's, that's where we are. Okay. Uh, so Raina Hightower says, Hello Kimmy, I did get a digital business card from Hi Hello, and I did my flyers, and I'm in the process of getting a website. Very uh, good. So I also am, I have that on my list of things to do is to get a digital business card. I do not have one as of yet. I'm not anti-digital, but I do want you to have a physical car old-fashioned paper again we got to always think about our elderly clients and those who are just not um computer savvy so i recommend you have both and i am going to get one i have not did it yet but it is on my um list of things to do and another reason i have not did it because i don't want to pay the monthly fee all the ones that you i can. find unless somebody got a free one for me now let yeah. me know we drop yeah. the gems Hi, yeah. hello, it's free. It's, it's completely free, free Ms. Raina? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, let me write it down. Hi. Hi, hello. Can you say it again, please, Ms. Raina? Hi, hi, H-I-H-E-L-L-O. Can you put that in the chat? It is. I wrote it in, I, I wrote it to Kimmy. I told her I got a digital business card from Hi, hello. 
Congratulations. I am loving that because a lot of things are going digital and I thank you for sharing that is completely uh -huh. free. I just um, did it Monday. <laughs> oh, you just did it. One more question. Can you put all your links on there, Ms. Rena? Do you know, or is it just for the like business? Because I know some of them you could put like all yeah, your you can put stuff. a man, you can put every yeah. My um I took a class from um one of these ladies that have a notary business and she had everything on there. Social media contact, her website, a okay. personal email address, a phone number. Yeah, you can put all that on there. Very good. Last question, if you don't mind. How do you share the information with someone? With the link that you can send it on there. So, so when I send them the link, it goes automatically into their contacts? Uh-huh. You can do that as well. Yes. Uh-huh. Loving it. Did we all yeah. get that gem from Miss Rena? Thank you so much, Miss Rena. I'm going to check in. I'm going to get that hooked up this weekend. Okay. <laughs> so that's on my to-do list by next Monday, y'all. Right. And I also got me some flyers. I wish I uh, would have printed everything out to show y'all, but I got some flyers I'm getting ready to send out to. Oh, that's congrats. Your, that's your homework for next me next month. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll show it to y'all. Yes. Okay. So your homework is your flyer and my homework is my digital business card. Okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing that too. You're welcome. Jeffrey, you want to say hi to the people? He's leaving for a meeting. Come say hi. Say hi. And hey, all everybody. the men in the house. All the men in the house. Hey, men folk. <laughs> Start doing your thing. <laughs> all right bye be careful all right very good so um yes thank you for that miss rena we got our homework assignments for next week and now we will move on to miss marcy what's going on with you she can't talk again oh no you can She's type your mute. answer and then She's alexis will cover read it oh, can you talk a little bit but go. i was just going to talk about amazon for a little bit because i've always had good support with Amazon and you can go into your orders. You click on your orders and was there a problem with the order? It's like steps you follow and you can even get to where you can have someone call you and they will work with you because prime example, I messed up on my stamp. I, but the um the company that I ordered it from, I reordered it the way it was supposed to say, and then they did um credit me back when I sent that st the wrong one back, and Amazon even credited me the shipping back because they want your business, and so they told me, well, if they don't credit the shipping, which it wasn't hardly nothing, it was seven dollars, nothing to fess over, but they will work with you just follow going through their prompts in order to get to that part in your amazon account miss marcy so, thank you for sharing that and i hope you feel better get you some hot tea with some honey <laughs> and a little something, it, something in there okay i'm seeing this a speech therapist it's a speech a vocal cord thing oh, and okay. um and i am going to be out for a few weeks because i'm having a surgery so Okay. I'll be back in about a month. Okay. Um, this might next. I'll be here. I think I'll be here next Monday, but then I'll be out for a while. Well, just remind. But us I'm gonna order your book. You. Thank you. I'll um, be praying for you. Thank you. I'm yeah. I'm reading on one book, and I'm gonna order your book as as well, Miss Kimmy, um, and read over it because I just I I. You know, I'm out there in Facebook um, more now, and I'm working on all of that. But, man, y'all don't know this group is a good, supportive group. Um, it, it's, it really is. And I see that more and more. Um, a lot of Facebooks out there, they're like, well, yeah, you just put your information out there so that you can get found. And, but don't just want to be found. I want to be, you know, thank you so much, Shannon. Um, I want to learn and everything and I just really am glad that I'm here in this group but yeah um I'll be out for a little bit um having a surgery okay I'll be I'm gonna I'm gonna order that book while I'm out so I can have I need something to do <laughs> oh well we thank you and again we'll be praying for you so just remind us next week as it's closer to the time okay yeah I'll be and here Monday for and our um, people having a problem with Amazon she is correct um Miss Marcy they mm -hmm. will work with you they're yes, they very, will. very forgiving. I had an order really quick. Um, I had it to go to the wrong address, 
And I was like, man, I got to tell these people. I didn't know what they were going to do. And they were like, oh, okay, no problem. And I was like, thank you, because it was my fault. So somebody got my products that I had ordered, you know. Yeah, it was my fault. I had put my uh, my previous last name on my, because uh, I recently got married, and half of my life is still in my previous last name. And, well, we women, we deal with that stuff. So it's a <laughs> Yes, I have. Anyway, so, yeah. well, but anyway, they worked too. with me, and thank you, thank you. But they worked with me, so I was so thankful. And so I just, you know, like, yes, they will work with you. They're very, very nice, very yes. nice. And for those of you who do not know, you can order all of your notary supplies from Amazon. We get a lot of pushback. You shouldn't order from Amazon, da, da, da. Amazon knows what state you are in. We order all of our supplies from there. I've ordered, um, I do have a um, affiliate link with them at the website, notaryeducatorsllc.com and a supply list of recommended things that we have all used and that I use. So you can check it out, but you can, you can save a lot of money by ordering your stamps on Amazon too, Okay. Let's go to Miss Martha. Thank you again, Miss Marcy. Hey, Miss Martha, welcome. How are you? What's going on in your business? Hi. Well, I'm actually new. Welcome. I'm new here. This is my first time here with y'all, and I'm loving all the comments and conversations y'all are having. So it seems like it's a great group where I could grow and learn a lot from. We think so, but thank you. <laughs> where are you from? I saw where your you video. From, Martha? Yeah. Too. Where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Okay, I oh, thought so. Okay. Right with us. What'd you say? In Georgia. Go ahead, Ms. Martha. Yes, I'm from, I'm actually in Gainesville, Georgia. Okay. Okay. Right up from me. And very from... good. Very good. So okay. you're new to the industry. So what's, where are you in the process? You were talking well, about I have, I have, I have my, YouTube. I have my seal. Yes, I found you in YouTube, Ms. Kim. And I got my seal because I used to work for Forsyth, excuse me, Forsyth County Courthouse. So that's where I got my seal where I would notarize documents for them. And then I renew it and it helped with my current job. I work in the accounting department in a poultry here. So um, now I, I'm like, well, I have it already. So might as well go ahead and um, continue with this and do my own business. Um, so I'm praying and hoping that this works and me being bilingual, I'm hoping this is going to help my community as well. Cause I could, a lot of people from Mexico, they're either needing their birth certificate to be a postal and stuff like that. Yep. And I'm like, well, I could get some information to learn how to do all this process. Yeah. Sadly, um, to say I've tried to reach out to um, people here in the community, but they don't provide the information. So I was like, okay, well, let me look somewhere else. So, yeah. okay, let's talk about a couple of things you said. So um, it is true that the notary community is very tight lipped. <laughs> if you try to call somebody and say, hey, can you help me or whatever, it's going to be a no-go. And that's kind of how my whole thing got started. I was looking for information, couldn't find any. And I was like, I know people making money out here. Mm -hmm. Everything I kept seeing kept saying, you cannot do this, you can't do that, da 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 And I was like, somebody making some money. So I had to get to the bottom of it. So once I did, <laughs> that's how my whole channel got started. I, I'm telling everybody. So it is plenty of work for everyone. Actually, in our Facebook group, I don't know if you're a member or not yet. It's completely not. free. Completely free. You do not have to have taken any of our training. Notary Educators is the Facebook group. Um, there was a request today for a Spanish-speaking notary. There was a request oh. today for Georgia. Yep. And that would have been perfect for you. Yes, um, it would. Uh... Yeah, I actually ended up, um, was able to help the person out. And you could also offer translation services, yes. even though for those of you who do not speak another language, you can still offer translation services. So go back and watch my videos about <laughs> translation services. And I do have a course to teach you how to. So you don't have to speak Spanish to help someone to get their documents facilitated. 
and translate it, okay? So in your case, so that would be an excellent business for you, of course. So you want to look into apostilles. You want to first know how to be a great notary. And then, if do you already have the Georgia book that I wrote? I don't. Uh, the I only book I have is... This, yeah, that's your handbook for the state of Georgia. So get the orange book that I wrote specifically designed for Georgia. Okay. And it's going to teach you everything you can do in the state. And then you can double back and we can help you with some training. Okay. Okay. And what is your website or where would I find that orange book? Yes. Notary educators, LLC.com. Notary educators, LLC.com. And then for those who may be new too, let's just go really quick through what the training will look like. Angela, can you take people step-by-step, step, maybe like the 30-second version of what training would look like for them to get their business off the ground? So the 30-second version is that there are no modules. There are no tests. Uh, we is on, we have online uh, via Zoom or online in-person. Let me back up. Online in-person via Zoom and online courses. And so what it looks like is that you're on Zoom and we have a two-hour training. And when you finish that training, you'll know how to notarize documents from any state or any country. You'll know how to um, price your services. You'll know how to market your service. You'll know how to, you know, start setting up a Google page or what you need to do to set up a Google page. All of your questions are answered in that two-hour session. We do not leave the session until everybody is satisfied that they know what they're doing. So that's our purpose and our goal is to make sure that this is a business. And in order to run a, a good business and be successful, you have to know your craft. And that's what we teach you. We teach you how to be confident, how to be proficient and effective in being a, a professional good notary. Mm -hmm. That's to notarize like a pro, either self-paced or in person. And that's the one I was saying. I had three slots available for Friday night. No pressure. I'm just saying I got three. Uh, Alexis, can you also mention, please, how you become a notary signing agent, what those steps look like for everybody? Yes. So first and foremost, I would say you need training. Uh, training with us is the same process as our Notarize Like a Pro. Two hours. Uh, we go beginning to end over some documents, over the process, what that looks like in general, as far as getting an assignment, different companies to sign up with. We go over some documents, critical documents, um, some tips and tricks are in there. And then you also need to be um, certified by the National Notary Association, if you are not familiar with the NNA. This is a National Notary Association. They're the goal, they're the standard in the loan signing community. And you'll get, you'll have your exam done by them. You'll get the lowest package if you take training with us. You'll take the exam and do a background check with them. And that's done yearly. And then you'll be certified as a loan signing agent through the NNA. So you do have some options there. And again, our training, I, I just had a class with someone over the weekend and they literally were like, I took training, but I still was lost, didn't understand. And I needed something to help assist with actual real world application of the loan signing process. So that's what our training is all about real world. What does it look like sitting at the table from beginning to end, getting the jobs and to the end, shipping them off to title. Mm -hmm. So that's all about loan signing. Yep. And every one of our classes will prepare you. You won't walk away saying, I think they meant, maybe they mean. <laughs> that's not how we teach. You can tell that from right here. So and we have a, um, we also have an apostille training. And so the apostille training follows the same format, except for it's a three-hour course. But there are no tests and no modules. You get a workbook with it that you can use afterwards. And when you finish that training, it's the exact same thing. Uh, you would know how to apostille documents in any state for any country. And we do provide uh, additional assistance after. And there's also a mentor for apostille, a monthly mem membership subscription. So all of our training courses follow the same format. When you leave, you will definitely know how to do what you need to do, and you'll be confident in doing it. Which um, session or which course would you recommend to start? Like to like brand new, like if I didn't know anything, and which one would be the first one you would recommend for me to start with? The Notarize Like a Pro. Notarize Like a Pro. Because you got to know how to be a good notary to do all the rest of it. Or you do anything. That's <laughs> number one. You got to learn how to 
stamp those papers and what goes along with that. <laughs> okay. And then after that one, which one would be the second one you would recommend? The long signing course. And then notarize like a pro and notary and the signing agent comes in either uh, self-paced or live. You have perfect. If when it, it's a live, where is it at? It's on Zoom. It's via Zoom. Via Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. You receive the documents and um, a Zoom link after you pay. Usually a couple of days before the class, we'll send out the documents that we'll go over. And um, I was going to say, even if you all decide to do self-paced, anybody, um, these courses are valid for all states too, uh, not just whatever state you live in. Again, your documents are going to come from all over the world. So when okay. we teach you how to notarize, it's not just a Georgia document. It's not just a Tennessee document. It's not just Texas. You learn how to notarize a piece of toilet paper, okay? <laughs> so that being the case, though, um, yeah, just kind of take your time, play around with the website and see which way you think would work better for you, okay? Perfect. Um, right. if you, I'll look at the website to look for the prices for the courses. Yes. Yep. That would be perfect. And let us know if you have any any additional questions, okay? Perfect. Welcome Thank to you. The industry, Miss Martha. I think you'll do well. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate um, that. Let's get Miss Janine. And then we have Miss Darnella patiently waiting also. Hey, Miss Janine, welcome. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. What's going on with that business? Uh nothing at the moment. So what? What? I, what's going on? Okay, so tell us about what's going on. So I'm in the state of Indiana, Northwest Indiana. Um, I've had my commission since January and I've taken your notarized like a pro class with Alexis. Okay. Um, I have business cards. I have my Google business page. So today I was off work from my regular job. And so I went out doing a little marketing. I sent some letters to some real estate schools and some um, insurance companies. And I haven't gotten one bite. So I was wondering in the meantime, while I'm waiting on business to pick up what else could I be doing? That's the first question. And then second, when I paid for my background check with the NNA, I got the long signing exam. So I need to know, is there a prep course for it or should I take Alexis's class first and then the exam? Yeah, let me talk about the business part and now let Alexis talk about the notary signing part. Um, so as far as the business part, you say you took your um, um, advertisement to a real estate school are these people like in training to be realtors? So that part of it was for the proctoring service. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. So that, yeah, that part of it was for the proctoring service, but I've sent letters to different churches in my neighborhood. I've been to the currency exchange. I've been to Staples, Office Depot, the UPS store, dropping off my cards and just sending different le letters to different businesses. So I'm going to recommend that you go. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. That's um, okay. Did you want to add something else? No. So I was going to recommend that you physically go to your nursing homes, you know, go dressed up, take your business card or your flyer to nursing homes. And that sounds like and a lot of them, like Mr. Ken was saying last week, it's all about making connections and getting out there everybody should know that you are a notary when you think about your church churches guys that's not going to be your that's not going to be where you're going to make your money now individually people that know that you are a notary in your church may call you but to mm -hmm. to, to advertise to the church is not going to be your client they usually have somebody on staff that does it now that doesn't mean they're not going to ever call you or need you because that person anything could happen right but that's not going to be your primary market. Your primary market is going to be your nursing homes, your hospitals, going to that front desk and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Miss Janine. I have a mobile notary business. I know sometimes your clients may not be able to get out. They may be ill. I would be more than happy to come here and service them. And they're going to say, what? I didn't even know you offered that. So your barbershops, Panera Bread. Just leaving your business card, all of those kind of things is what's going to get you business. Making sure that Google page is tight. Now, I uh, if you want to send the link, I was going to say, how are we going to look at your page? But okay, I'm just going to ask you about your page. Does your page look like an edible arrangement or a dry piece of toast? Um, I don't know. It might look like a dry piece of toast. You can Google You know it. what it's a called. dry piece of toast look like and you know what an edible arrangement look like. Which one does your site look like? Um... Drop in between toast, you're taking too long. I know you're taking too long. If you take it long, you're <laughs> you thinking wrong. 
You can look it up. It's called Book Her Mobile Notary. What is it? Book Her Mobile Notary. All right, everybody look at it. Book Her Mobile Notary. Let's see what it look like. Book Her Mobile Notary. Dot com. No, that's the Google business page. Oh, wait a minute. What's your, do you have a website? First, I have a Google site. I just have a landing page right now. Oh, well, I still should be able to find you. Book her mobile. Okay, I got you. Book her mobile notary. You said, right. What, um, where are you located? In Hammond, Indiana. Indiana, yeah. you said Indiana. Okay. Alexis found it. What did it look like, Alexis? I'm looking for it. I got it. I got it. My initial it. thought is, where's the picture? I get on everybody about this. Where's your picture? I don't want my picture on the internet. Okay. Okay. Then, then another option would be, I mean, your pictures look fine. I would say um, some canvas, creating okay. some canvas. Okay. Yeah, put some fake mean, people. If you don't want your picture yeah. on there, put some canvas people on there. Well, this yeah, is they have stock photos. I was about to say, this is the other thing. She really don't have any... Um, her photos are just generic, like with notary stamps, notary public, keep calm. She has a few documents. One review. No, she has. Yeah. She has yeah. A few, yeah. One review and your pictures look really, um, the pictures are okay because it's some color. I'm like, Alexis, go to, if you don't want your picture out there, guys, it's going to be a little side tip. Um, Put a few pictures out there from Canva. But we're mm -hmm. not using any one ethnicity. So don't make it all Asian people. And then you show up, they like, who is that? So right. you might put one Asian, one black, one white. You know what I'm saying? We, okay. we try to be as authentic as we can here, you know. Okay. And I see people, and I've heard people racially say, Well, I'm gonna use this race because it's gonna make me get more business. I don't play them kind of games. When I show up, yeah. you're gonna know who I am. <laughs> Can't hide this. <laughs> this ain't coming off you know what i mean so let's just be who we are our authentic selves but in this case since you don't want your picture that's okay because you guys I, I say that all the time right everybody if you don't want your picture it's okay so let's go out there like alexis suggested go to canva and put a mm -hmm. few different things scen um sceneries out there put you a hospital setting with some people you know put you a, like i said different races out there a couple men maybe some women whatever and professionals, a couple professional looking pictures on your site. And you do have one review. So as you continue to do your business, you want to make sure you ask and you're asking for reviews. Okay. Okay. That's going to get you ranking higher. In the meantime, you may even ask, now I'm only going to get a suggestion. Everybody take me up on one or two people. I'm not saying go out there and ask your whole family of 50 people at the barbecue to give, leave your review. But if you got one or two people who know you can vouch for you as a person, ask them to leave you a review. I know Miss Janine is reliable and leave you five stars. I know her to be honest and leave you five stars because reviews is going to is what's going to get you populating also. Now, we again are not asking for 100 people. We ain't going through the whole church. Okay, because Google will spot it and they will block you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One or two, one or two is okay. Are we clear? Yeah, I've done that. I've asked two family members to do that and they haven't done it. So I said, that's okay. No, it's not. Are you oh. gonna ask them till you get to at least three reviews out there? That's what you gonna do. <laughs> well, I ask different people then. Yeah, yeah. ask different people. I have ask I have to say this too about, um, and it's okay, like she mentioned, if you don't want your picture on Google, on the internet, uh, some people just don't want it, like I said, and that's okay. But people like to see who they're working with. They like to see who they're dealing with. And again, people will comment, oh, I saw your picture on Google. They just want to know who they're dealing with sometimes, a lot of times. And people will say that. They have said it to me. Oh, I saw your picture on Google. That's a nice picture. So people, they just like, they want to see a human factor in it. But if you don't want that, that's fine. But I just thought I would let people know they do like the human factor of a person seeing a person. Yeah. Okay. I did go to JC Penney's this weekend and I took some professional photos. So I am going to put them on my business cards. I just didn't want it on my Google business page. So let me ask you this, Ms. Janine, because um, we got to have some frank talk here. That's what this is about, right? We about growing mm -hmm. businesses. So if I, di if I did not say what I'm getting ready to say, it would be, um, I would be being less than um, 
genuine and clear or whatever, where you want to insert? When you become a notary loan signing agent, how are you going to get around putting your picture on there at the NNA? Because I got my first call, guys, from the, um, what is Find it called? A notary. Find a notary. Thank you, Angela. I got my first call from Find a Notary, actually. It was an email request. That's from the NNA. If you did not see my video, go back and check it out. But they are offering um, now helping us to get general notary work. So it is working. The very first day it rolled out, somebody in our Facebook group in another state actually had received um, a call. That's what made me do a video on it. But back to you, how are you going to get around your photo not being there? Again, no pressure, but I just want to be clear that it is going to affect your business. It really is. So what? how are you going to get around putting your, because once you put that profile picture, even on the signing agent um, snap docs, your picture is going to come up. When you put that picture on find a notary, it's going to come up. And they will tell you snap docs, um, find oh a God. notary, and all of them, without that profile picture, your chances mm -hmm. of um, really going next level is going to be a little challenging. So how what's your workaround for that? Okay. So as far as find a notary, I did put my photo on find a notary. Okay. So I just didn't put it on my Google business page. So I'm, I'm going to push back a little bit because now I'm nosy. So what's the difference between that and your Google page? Because I'm trying to see, is there something we could do to help you to be more secure in putting it on Google? What What is the pushback on Google? I guess there's no pushback. Well, I mean, I guess we're no not going to do it. So we're trying to figure out why. Like, um, I don't know. I guess anybody can Google me and just look at my picture. Mm, but find a notary, I guess... You but just I put in find a notary and put your name, your picture gonna show up. All your right. information gonna show up. As a as a public servant, just FYI, all mm -hmm. of your information is gonna show up. Okay. So I mean, I'm just I'm just pushing back. This is not just for you, it's for others who may be a little slow to realizing that unfortunately this is the world we live in. That unless the security reasons, like I said, you know, just because I'm not used to it. Um, AI, people are frightened to death of it. Guess what, guys? We did a whole video on this. If you don't get electronically hooked up or whatever word I'm missing there, um, educated using AI and all these different features, you're going to be left behind. I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking in general now. We have got okay. to change our mindset. We have got to. You are the brand. And I'll be honest with you. Even now, me and my husband be like, ooh. And I'll say something like, Oh, I don't want my picture out there. He like Kim, really? <laughs> He's I got like, all that. over everywhere. What are you talking about? You don't want your picture. But I got over that when I moved to Georgia and I was doing something and I Googled myself. Every address I had was on the internet. Florida, California, every address I had in California, every address I had in Florida, my sister's address, and I stayed with her for one month. So everything was all over the internet. I was like, well, you know what? I can't stop nothing. I'm just like, I'm I'm all in. <laughs> so, you know, that was my thing. I'm like, I'm already all in. I can't hide anything. No, and my mom was 87. It was so funny. I said, Ma, I said, all your information out here. She was like, no, it's not. I said, Ma, and I started reading stuff off. She was like, <gasps> I said, they know all your business. She, I said, Ma, we're going to do online banking. That was her main thing. She didn't want to do online banking for stuff. I'm like, they already got your social and your everything. She would have a fit when I would say that. I'm not far off, though. I'm not far off. So, again, no pressure, Miss Janine, but I really want us to get into thinking we are in year 2023, and it's just some things that, like it or not, if it ain't a safety reason, we're going to either get with the program or be left behind. Left behind. And It took and, me a minute. It took me a minute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. And Ms. Janine, I do see that you're on LinkedIn and next door, which is good. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. you do have those things and, and just, you know. Is her picture I, there, Miss Victoria? Because I don't have no, LinkedIn. Her, her picture is not there. But you know everything else about her, huh? Yeah. And there's a nice uh, border <laughs> background like, yeah. picture on her next door, too. It looks like a, it looks almost like a, um like a judge's desk with the notary with the um gavel and then some glasses and it says notary okay so, said, okay. so and look at that smile miss janine so if you ain't got no safety reasons going on over there you are shortchanging the people and your pocketbook 
Yeah, we see you. <laughs> <laughs> All we right. Have, we have 10 minutes, so we're going to move on. Okay, okay. Right. Ms. Darnella, Ms. Darnella been waiting for a patient. All right, Ms. Janine, are you good before we move on? Yes, thank you. Sorry for the beat down. That's okay. <laughs> it was with love, though, okay? Okay. All right. right. <laughs> All right. Ms. Darnella, sorry about that delay there. Ms. Janine took me on a tangent. No problem. Hey, Miss Janine, be encouraged. I haven't gotten my first gig yet, but I am I'm confident it's coming. The call, the text, whatever. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. It's coming. And thank you for your <laughs> referral to Miss Darnella. You brought Miss Victoria? Absolutely. You know, we both from the D, so <laughs> I'm just here in Georgia now. She's still in Detroit. So oh, what? <laughs> We are we're in Georgia too, so we got that whole Detroit slash uh Georgia right. connection going on. So what's going on in that business, Miss Darnella? Um, so I wanted to know since I've done um notarized like a pro and that's to answer my question, the next course to take because I want to be a signing agent. Is there a difference between a notary signing agent and a loan signing agent? Oh, Alexis, um, can you handle that question for us? Nope. They're one in the same. You might hear executive signing agent, notary okay. signing agent, loan signing agent. It's all the same thing. Just people just choose, you know, different terms, fancy terms. But okay. it's the same thing. So when I go on the NNA to sign up to for the background check, so the background, don't I need the certification? And the background, or am I just because they have different packages? So I don't want to overspend because I want to get your course. So, yeah. So, what you'll do is you'll get the lowest package. I believe it's 70, it's $79. Um, is it $79? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. $79 one. And that comes with your exam <laughs> and your background check. And oh, then, okay. Yep. And then after you do that, you'll be all set as far as the NNA. I would say take the course first. Take our training first, because a lot of people said it prepared them for the exam. Other students have said that. So, okay. yeah, you'll be ready to go. And um, I, I mean, I'll give you all the information you need. Um, okay. You training. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. And I just wanted to add a tip. I don't know if you all ladies know. Have you ever heard of Poster My Wall? No, I oh. haven't. If you need flyers, brochures, business card, it's a template site. Poster my, and I'll put it in the uh, chat. And you can go in and kind of maneuver and change. Like, say, for instance, you want a flyer for something, you can go in and say, okay, well, actually, I got my, I did my business card. I don't know if you want to see it. I did my business card. Oh, yeah, I do see it. It's cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but post, I did it on poster. My wall I did was insert my picture and change a few things around. Yes. So people that don't know how to create stuff or they don't have that area, go on post to my wall. And it's, for the most part, it's free. And if you don't want to, I don't know if you have to pay for it, but you can download the templates or you can do a screenshot, make it a JPEG and do what you need to do. But oh, nice. I have found it excellent. It's been an excellent help for pretty much anything I wanted to do. They have some wonderful things on post to my wall. They even have, um, what do you call it? Um, motion flyers and posters if you wanted like uh motion like different things flying across the screen and all that kind of stuff they have all that but poster my wall is excellent so is there a fee for that miss darnella i haven't paid for anything very good very good <laughs> i haven't i just plug my little stuff in you can change colors fonts all of that very good. And we're going to add one more to that. Can you say it a little bit slower for the people, um, please? Sure. And I'll put it in the chat. It's called Poster My Wall. Okay. Poster My Wall. Okay. So that's the option for you. And do not forget, um, Canva has a free um, everything also, guys. There's a free version on Canva. And um, that's what I use for everything. But now we do have another option just in case you need more selections. Okay, postermywall.com. Thank you, Ms. Darnella, for everything. Have we answered and did every covered everything you wanted to discuss tonight? Yes, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Very good. So we'll see you soon in some class, okay? Okay. Very good. Thank you for your purchase, too. I appreciate it. Ms. Dorinda, what's going on tonight? Welcome. Hi. Hey. First, of, hey, first of all, I just want to say I really enjoyed 
um, my notarized like a pro class that I had with you like two weeks ago. I think it was. It was a, yes. on a Friday night. <laughs> yes. How are you doing? I am well. I am well. I've been on this call a few times. I missed you all last week. As a matter of fact, that was part of my post on uh, YouTube <laughs> yesterday when I watched the replay. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 I did see that. I haven't responded yeah. to anything yet, though. Okay. Okay. All good. All good. Um, but I just want to thank you all. You all, I, I know other people have said it, um, but you all are so open and welcoming. And honestly, it just feels like you're just talking with a group of girlfriends who have some knowledge they're willing to impart. And and that's just helpful because, you know, um, whether being nervous or not knowing which way to go, or, or just some reassurance. So I just want to say that I personally have just appreciated that. And I have binge watched several of your videos. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's um, our the pleasure. Process. It's our pleasure. <laughs> but um, so I just want to, uh, in, in some ways, just kind of make sure I'm not missing something else I need to be doing. So to tell you where I am, so I actually... Be uh, initially got commissioned with the intention on being a, not uh, a notary signing agent, not really focusing on general notary work. But as we all know, the market is doing its thing, which we know is going to come back up eventually. But um, and at first I felt like, oh, man, I don't miss the boat. Right. But then I was like, no, I'll just be very prepared when the market does its upswing as far as that is concerned. Correct. So I kind of stepped back to focus more on the notary piece, which is why I took the notarized like a pro. I had taken some other coursework. I actually sat for my, um, I am a notary signing agent. And you know, in Maryland, you have to give away your firstborn child to become a notary signing yes, agent. Yes, the tipic and all that. Yeah. <laughs> the tipic. And so I have all of that. All of that's done. And yeah. I've taken some additional. So when I got to your class, it really helped solidify and and like really pull it all together for me yeah um so i'm very appreciative of that um so i actually um have put together some started signing up with some signing agencies in the meantime and also I put putting together a packet to take to some local title companies um and actually i'm off on wednesday so i've decided i'm gonna actually hit the streets on Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, for, as far as that side of things are concerned. And as it relates to the notary side, I ran into a service that I had never heard of. And actually, I, I don't know if I saw it on your website, Miss Kimmy, when you told mm -hmm. us to go look at your site, but it was connected to you and it was called Alignable. Oh, I think it's the name a, of it. Yeah, Alignable is like uh, LinkedIn for business. Right, for, for business for, for people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I actually signed up on Nextdoor. I signed up on, I had my Google page. I actually have a website. And so I worked on that for a little while before I felt like, okay, I can put this in public now. But um, but I signed up on there and actually got a recommendation from another notary, just again, based on what she read about my experience in public service. And also, and so I just say this to say, you know, put yourself, we got to put ourselves out there because um, and I'm thinking about Mr. Ken, what you were saying uh, last week or the week before, but in me, putting myself out there to meet someone. I met another notary who's in another one of the counties that I was served, but she can't go out now. So she's doing focusing more on Ron. So we talked about her referring me to people who wanted someone to come in person. Yep. And I was sending her people who really wanted Ron. Yep. So that all happened through Alignable, just on a hum, so to really? speak. Being intentional. That is amazing. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so I'm just trying, I'm like working, trying to work both sides, but I feel so much more confident and, and ready. So whoever said it's coming and was telling somebody else, hold on, it's it's coming. It is definitely coming. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so. Yes. And I know we talked about also because of your state fee, that max of $5 that I encourage you also to look into doing apostille work and yeah. Yeah, that will make you a little bit more money. And did you figure out if you can have a workaround with what you can call the fees would be my other question for you and your general notary part. Right. And no, I have not. I have that. Look, I have that in my my uh, questions, things to follow up on um, yeah. to look into that notary, piece. Ask your fellow notary that is already doing it, too. So when I say a workaround, it may be mm -hmm. that you don't even charge them a travel fee at all, but it may be I have to go to the hospital. So it's going to be a hospital convenience fee. Or you know what I'm saying? So that might be your mm -hmm. workaround. You say I'm not charging you the five dollars. That's free. Right. So right. just kind of look and see if there's an alternative to what you can call that. And if not, we had already discussed anyway for you 
you probably mm -hmm. want to kind of focus on the apostille part of it because that's something that's not regulated by the state, by your state. Correct. So those do not know, do not know Ms. Dorinda is in Maryland. And in Maryland, they can only charge a $5 max for it's their It's six, fee. actually. It's six. It it's, six. Okay. Well, it's $5 travel fee flat, but you can charge mileage round trip at the okay. government rate. And then $6 per signature. Like six uh, yeah, dollars per notary, notorial act. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about the travel. Oh, the travel. Fee. Yeah, it is fine. Yeah, so she's not getting ready to drive two hours away for five dollars. Okay, I'm gonna just tell her that I don't even know you <laughs> like that. <laughs> Ain't nobody driving nowhere for no five dollars. That's why I said we got to see if there's a workaround. Um, so that would be the first thing I would push back and just kind of mm -hmm. see can you call it something different if you, you know, are going, you know, to a facility, and then if you find out the answer is yes. Then that's mm -hmm. when you want to start really hitting hard marketing to those areas. To sound like you might need to do a little bit more marketing, but I know you're limited on that travel fee. So that's going to limit what you do. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I do need to find out about that piece. I did have written, I had that written down in regards to whether or not I could kind of do that workaround. I saw someone say something about $5. It's, that's just a flat travel fee in itself. And then you can add the mileage. Um, One more, so, Mr. Render, um, because North Carolina was having a similar problem. Our notaries, mm -hmm. there, we found out a workaround for them was if they had, and don't everybody ask me about this because I cannot tell you, <laughs> but I do know what happened in North Carolina because the notary did their own research and came back and shared it with us. But as a notary, they could not charge any more than $5. But as an LLC, they were able to charge as a company versus just a regular notary. Mm. See the difference okay. if your company, like you hire um banks, mobile note banks notary service versus just Ms. Dorinda going out there. Mm. Banks notice banks mobile notary LLC, the company, versus just mm -hmm. you going out there. It was a workaround for the state of North Carolina. Okay. okay. So you may look into seeing if that's an option too. I will look into that. And let us know next week when you find out maybe okay. you somebody else. All right. Okay. All awesome. right. Our pleasure. And thank you again for taking the class and everything else. We're happy to be on your journey with you. We're going to figure these, figure this thing out. Oh, and I bought your specialty notary book too on yeah, Amazon. That's gonna prepare you. And you see all the different yeah. things you can do too with the specialty. So check that mm -hmm. out too. Okay. Yep. Until we find out that workaround. Yes. <laughs> all right, Ms. Dorinda. Thanks. Our pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Quintella, how's it going? Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, I just want to say real quick, I think everybody has already said, you know, ways that they want to get out there and, um, you know, get business and get started. And I know everybody's going out there to the lawyers and the nursing homes and everything like that. Um, I've been focusing more on the community itself. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of school festivals around this time. So I went out, found a couple of schools that are having some festivals where you can be a vendor. And giving out nothing but pens and some business cards, but the pens got my logo and my information on it. It gets you more involved with the community. So if you can find things like that to go to, still focus on going to the lawyers and, you know, because that's where the, money, the real money's at. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in order to get involved with the community and people find you, you know, somebody talk to somebody, oh, I know somebody. And it, you know, it's a trickle down effect. So also too, what I did, <laughs> I know this is crazy. I left some business cards in a woman's bathroom. You get phone calls, just leave them. I know business cards cost money. But you got to think out the box when you want to make money. So you're always going to end up getting it back one way. I love your tips. may not be right now, but it's going to come back to you. I love your tips. And I get business cards out like water. So now <laughs> when I first started, I, I ordered like 100. I always order them now by like the 1500s. And by the time yeah. I get finished um, with my coupons and everything from Vistaprint, I'll get like 1500 for like $50. So mm -hmm. I leave like three or four with everybody. Everybody say you original and you do be getting down, Miss Contella. <laughs> I think outside the box. Listen, you are I, thinking it, outside the you box. Have to spend, you have to spend it, unfortunately. And you're going to have to spend right now. You may not, like I said, you may not see it back for a month or two, but it'll come back. 
Trust me, whatever I done spent back in the beginning of August, it's coming back to me now. Get you just got to give it time. It just That's takes true. time. Time, and you are putting in the work. I mean, I would have never thought to just leave them randomly in a women's restaurant. I leave them randomly everywhere. I got stickers that I made. Now, listen, now everybody go out and do this. Take my idea. But I made label stickers with my um my business name, phone number, email address. Kind of stick it on the back in the back of the bathroom stall. <laughs> Girl, wow, you are not playing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you guys hearing all these different tips and stuff, Miss Quintella does not play, okay? Thank you for sharing those. We really appreciate it. So those are some, get creative. She's right. Getting out in that community is really going to make a difference too. They, everybody in the notary business should know that you run in that area. Miss Quintella. Oh, my notary is Miss Quintella. Oh, you know, I got a notary over here. You know what I'm saying? So yes, that's true. Because I got my area on lock. Don't play about Snailville, y'all. Let me hear somebody call somebody. I'll be like, who you call? So anyway, that's another story. Let's get, thank you, Ms. Quintella, for sharing. As always, we really appreciate it, okay? Let's get Ms. Marcy, and then we'll get, uh, get Ken and wrap I'm it sorry, up. Ms. Marcy, we get Ken first. All right, Mr. Ken, and since we have Ms. Marcy, and then we'll get Ms. Marcy as our last person. Mr. Ken, welcome, welcome. Great. Again, ladies, it's just an honor. It truly is. It's an honor to be with you guys. And I think you got a powerful platform here. And Miss Angela, I ain't forget you now. I got I'm working on that broad, but on you next now. I'm just I letting know. you know. So I'm letting you know. But ladies, I just want to finish up this real quick. Is that I think all what you guys are saying, you guys got some beautiful cards out there. My point is set yourself a number. I want to give out 10 a day. Now, I'm not talking about giving 10 to one person. I'm talking about if you're giving five or 10, that's just one to one person. That's one stop. Give yourself a number. I want to give five, 10, 15, 20 cards a day. Get those beautiful cards out. Don't let them sit in that box. Don't let them sit in your wallet or your purse. Give those cards out each and every day. Make yourself a number. And that's, that's my word for the day is that Give yourself a number how many I'm going to pass out each day and do it. I love that. Ken, that, is, that is really good, Mr. Cannon. You, you, must have been in, you must have been in sales before. I, yeah. I, I sold cars, and that's how I got my notary stamp. Doing I'm saying. I, I, told, I told the brief store, my husband was in sale, and he was the best at it. And uh, <laughs> he had a quota. He had a same thing. He would call. He would make sure, literally, he would make sure he talked to 100 people a week. And he had that, he did that every week. He would dial a hundred numbers. Mm -hmm. And that's why he was so, you know, great at what he did and had so much business. So Mr. Ken is right. Set yourself a quota and do it. And if you put it out there, it will come back. Back to Miss Quintella, what she was saying. It will come back. It may not be tomorrow, but you'll be surprised if people say, I got your car from such and such, or it was here. Or in her case, I was in the bathroom and I saw it on the back of the door. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> I was just sitting there and I saw your car. <laughs> but Mr. Ken, that is great. Yes, have a goal. Have a goal. Every go every day until it's doing what you need it to do. Yeah. That may be signing up with five companies. They may be tweaking that business page, going back, looking at that Google page. And anytime you tell us you're having a problem with getting business, we're gonna first thing we're gonna ask you is how's your Google business page? Right. Does it look like dry toast or does it look like an edible arrangement? Because that's the number one way people will find you. That is the number one way people will find you. If you're going to take nothing else from tonight, okay? Mr. Ken, thank you again for sharing. Miss Marcy, you're going to take it home for us. What's going on? Oh, um, did she type it in the chat, Alexis? Damn you. Oh. Still can't hear you. We can't hear you, Miss Marcy. It's nothing in the chat. No. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now we can. Okay. I was just going to ask if you would recap. Um, you had mentioned, uh, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, talking about how to, you know, get yourself out there. And I typed it earlier, earlier, trying to find it. Um, but you're getting yourself out there and introducing yourself. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, about the reviews, about the, about the reviews on how to, you know, ask someone to leave a review. That's what I was asking. If you would recap on. 
Yeah. So, some, but she was like, make, sure, make it like it's no big deal. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, but that. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so I was saying, and I always say this too, once you finish serving your client, um, you send them a link for a review. If you act as though it's important, though, like you begging and you got to do it, got to do it, they will not do it. You have to act like it's not important. So that sounds like, oh, Miss Marcy, thank you so much. It's been my pleasure servicing you today. I said, when I get time, like it's the last thing on my list, I don't care if you do it or not. When I get time, is it okay if I send you a link for a review? And they'll always say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, but if you act like, can you do it right now? I didn't, you know, they won't, they won't do it. But you got to act like it's not important. I don't know why the human mind is like that, but if you act like it's important, they won't do it. So, so I just saw we'll take this last thing that goes with Miss Marcy. The link is on your Google My Business page. So go into your Google page and look for the link. And that's what you're going to do a pre type script. I was supposed to do a video on this at someone's request, and I did not do it yet. But um, you are going to ha have, if I could, let me write, make a note, hold on, the list. You're going to just type something like a pre, like on your phone, you have a little notepad and it'll sound something like, um, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It was my pleasure to serve you or assist you with your documents today. If you don't no, would you please, not if you don't mind, would you please leave me a five-star review and then you leave them the link. And I always leave like a little flower or some little something like that. And um, that's how you start building those reviews, okay? All right. So guys, we are going to wrap it up here. As always, it is our pleasure on behalf of Notary Educators. I'm going to say good night. I'll let Angela and Alexa say their good nights. We do have a couple more slots left for Friday's night class. Um, notary signing agent class is coming up as well as apostille training. So just kind of check the website, see, get in where you fit in. And again, on behalf of everyone, it's my pleasure. I'll say good night. Angela, you and Alexis can take it home. Thank you guys for joining us. This is like one of the highlights of our week. And I love the dialogue tonight. Thanks for all of your gems. So we really appreciate you being a part of our notary educators. And we hope you really appreciate us, just all of us being bosses and want to have a great business. So that's our goal. And I hope you guys got some great nuggets tonight. Yes, today was amazing. I do want to say one thing uh, in regards to marketing. Go on YouTube and look up some marketing videos. It doesn't have to be notary specific. You find somebody in a notary field. Look for other people, other videos to watch. You might be able to take something from it and apply it to your notary business. But other than that, I will see you all next Monday. And I hope we have some more Great news to share tonight was awesome. Thank you all for joining us. Bye, everybody. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Bye. Much success next week.